Michael, dude, this news dropped yesterday. This is pretty cool. Annapurna is co-financing Control 2. We'll bring Remedy IP, including Alan Wake, to film and TV. Ooh. Remedy really in a, uh, a lot of hands on a lot of projects right now, to say the least, man. They're mm-hmm. busy. Chris Scullion over at VGC. Remedy has announced that Annapurna will be co-financing Control 2 and bringing Remedy IP to TV and movies. A statement on the official Remedy website says that Annapurna will be contributing financially to the development of Control 2. Biggest question is, when are we getting that? Like, Control 1 was a while ago, Michael. Mm -hmm. When do you think we see 2? 2026, right? At least. Yeah, at least, right? Yeah, maybe even 27. But any game that doesn't have an official date, and we always talk about that GTA 6 monster, I'm saying, you're in 26. I'm not even going (laughs) to think about you until after I finish GTA 6. Yeah, that's fair. The company will also be bringing Remedy IP, including Control and Alan Wake, to film and TV and beyond, end quote. Explained the deal communications director, Thomas Paw, said, quote, Above all, it means Remedy is able to make Control 2 exactly the game we want it to be, while we now also have an incredible partner to extend our IPs to other mediums, end quote. Michael, I think that's one of the biggest things we see a lot of pollination between mediums right now right you see the tv show getting adapted here with the last of us ball out dare i say halo <laughs> we get into some of these ips and dude they extend and they are allowed to branch out and pump out more content sooner because why because games take five six seven eight years to make it's just such a long roadmap if we can also get a tv show a film then that ties us over until that next iteration of the game we're able to play right i think that's the biggest hype if they can time it though do with the ending of the tv show for that game to drop that's on a whole other level right because everybody's on the hype train fallout absolutely exploded old fallout games fallout 4 fallout 76 just saw huge numbers because of the television show and i'm hoping they're able to do that here as well with control i'm curious about did you ever play control no, you know, it was one of those games I watched from afar, yeah. but never got into it. But... Uh, Scott from the show absolutely loved it. Thought it was incredible. Uh, and we all know how Alan Wake works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Alan Wake 1 and 2. Uh, yeah, we don't even need to talk about that one. People just love it, right? So if you're able to build off of those and then you time it with the release of a game, dude, that game will hit juggernaut numbers because everybody's got that fever of coming off of the television or slash film, right? It's just to me an exciting time. I'm very happy for Remedy. I think Sam Lake is a very cool guy. He's always, dude. I don't know if you see his memes lately though. <laughs> he's just, he's got his cup of coffee. And he just drinks his coffee and he's just bounced between everybody. Dude, he met Kojima on once and they just sit there, drink coffee, and then that was it. I'm like, what is happening in this world that this is what we're into here? But people love it. Sam Lake, very funny guy. Hopefully, we want to see him dance again though. That's my only statement. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I, everything you said is right, and I just hope any medium we get, TV, movies, I hope it's good, right? That's the one oh, yeah. thing. We think about the Fallouts. We think about the Witchers. We don't want to talk about the Halos. We don't want to talk about the Borderlands movies, right? That is the one concern, especially when you're trying to hype up a new game. If this hits, right, as you said, Control 2 could be massive. The Alan Wake franchise could be, I don't want to say revived, but it's one of those where if we get an amazing TV show, people might go back and check that out if they didn't, because yeah. it's a fantastic franchise. You want this to be good, but on the other side, if it's bad, the memes that will spawn from this will be <laughs> everlasting. So it's always a 50-50. I want it to be good. I've heard good things about Control 1, as you said. It's one of those that I didn't get to check out, but if Control 2 has some sort of tie-in, boom, I'm right there. I just want this to be good, because it feels like every company is like, Fallout was amazing, Witcher was amazing, we'll do our own TV show, and then we get a Halo.